Hello there YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Stormworks, and today is pretty exciting. Um, it is Easter, yeah, that's one reason why it's exciting, so happy Easter everyone out there watching. Um, but also, I got the Search and Destroy DLC and the Industrial Frontier DLC for Stormworks, and this is where I spawned in. I don't know about you, but I think this place is pretty amazing. Um, so yeah, if you'd like to help support some more of this stuff, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Okay? And make sure you ring the notification bell step down with all the most recent content. Um, so you don't miss out on any videos. And comment down below with what you'd like to see more of. Subscribing really, really helps the channel. Subscribing is what got us here, but we need some more subscribing. Um, not everybody is subscribing. More than half the people watching aren't subscribing. So, yeah. Make sure you subscribe. Um, anyways. Oh my gosh, this place is humongous. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and unlock, clean all vehicles, all radiation, unveil map, unlock all properties. Um, we're going to go ahead, turn off vehicle damage, NPC, player damage, turn on infinite electric, infinite fuel, um, turn off engine overheating, and do infinite ammo. Just because I want that really good creative experience. Um, and this place is absolutely humongous. I mean, like, it's extra bases where other stuff was before like this is the old map well not necessarily old but this is what comes with the industrial frontier map i think um what is this um yeah i'm not sure what that 50 percent is for but yeah i did the search and destroy and I did the Industrial Frontier one, which I think all this brown and like yellow is the Industrial Frontier. What is that? Looks like some nuclear and there's factories looking everywhere here. Um, yeah, storage facility, uh, wind power plant and uranium processing. There's train yard, everything guys train stops and I do also have some add-ons enabled here um humongous air bases I mean humongous um so yeah so yeah it says FJ Warner Docks um so yeah I think we're gonna do some stuff in here today Gonna have some fun. We're gonna teleport here and try and get some trains. Now I just gotta imagine that these are some humongous workbench areas. Like this is a big workbench area, but the space for the workbench, oh my gosh, that is humongous. And oh my gosh, I sh sorry, I bumped the mic. I just can't imagine getting to build something in this big of an area. Wow. Dang, why didn't I have this before? Yeah. $10 for each one, 20 bucks for both of them in total. Definitely worth it so far. And I mean, I just got started. So. Is that a steam engine? I don't know why it's backwards. Or is it backwards? Or is that the front where you drive it there? I think you drive it up front there. At right the back. No, I think it's backwards. But yeah. And wouldn't it be cool if they had a turntable here too? For the train? Here. Oh my gosh. That is just absolutely humongous. Just scrolling through my stuff. I mean, like, I'm not talking about all the stuff I have downloaded mod-wise or workshop-wise. I mean, like, I have tons of stuff like that. But, like, look, I can do a whole hydrofoil spawned in there, how big it is. Um, 
Yeah, this thing is humongous. Can I do one of the submarines? Oh my gosh, I just spawned a submarine in here. How big it is. I can do a Stratofortress. Nah, I think the wingspan will be way too big for it. Um, that is just amazing, though. How big this workbench is. I mean, like, there were some big workbenches originally. But, oh my gosh, it is humongous. I can't even, ma like, describe how it is. Describe and subscribe. So, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's see here. Can I do the Air Force One? No, that'd probably be for the big hangar back over there. Let's see here. Um, do this here. Search for some trains, maybe. I need to get um, a steam train or a diesel train. Probably do a diesel train here. Um, or well, what's that? I could do that, maybe. Um, I want to do some cargo trains here with some loading and unloading. You know, excuse my voice crack or whatever, if you will, um, whatever it's called, I guess. Um, let's see here. But I got some bus mods too. I got some of them I downloaded. The same container got weapons on it. Um, yeah, these workbenches are just humongous, and I mean, I probably could explore them all, but it would probably also take me forever to do that. Um, yeah, really want to do cargo train here. Okay, oh yeah, so that would be the back of the train, or front of the train, whichever way it'd be going. Um. Pretty much just reversed. That's in my nuclear train here. It looks like it's missing a couple pieces. Got the uh, Mallard here. Mallard train. Got an electric train. Be cool if they had a diesel and electric train. You just switch back and forth. Look at that. Um, yeah, so, oh, uh, yeah, and you got this one, I forget what it's called, what it's called Battle Diesel, and the gunner car for it, yeah, and you got diesel engines, these are just ones that I downloaded from the workshop, and you got the bullet train, let's see where, because I have my bullet train, I think down here towards the bottom, I have my, uh, freight cars, and there's the portable loader. So, you know what? Hang on. I'm going to get this in here real quick. Um, so then, my bad, I bumped the mic. Um, so that way, once I got some trains in here, I can bring some carriages around. Uh, I think I can do it where I'm on tracks or something. Yeah, and it's upside down, so if I want to turn right here, then I have to push A, like I'm going left, or whatever. Kind of strange there. That. Yeah, it's upside down. That's what I do. I think that's for if I'm on train tracks or something. Or maybe if it's right side up. Alright, now I gotta bring it up back over here. Uh, back up here, take off the parking brake. Or handbrake. If you will. There. I 
All right, and let's go over here and get us a train, probably a diesel train. Oops, my bad. And we'll get some cars hooked up here. Um, I think we might go with the electric train there. Um, we're not gonna do the nuclear train. I have used this one before, so I know that one works pretty good. Um, let's see here. Might use this one for it and let's see here let's see find a good uh cargo container car and cargo car got tons of trucks here Uh, I might just use this truck to get the containers or something. Um, there was this one that I'm supposed to use what I just spawned in a minute ago. Um, I used that with a special train car, I think. Um, I could probably use that instead. I don't know, I might have to come back to that one, actually. Um, tug truck. Here it is. It's a container wagon takes two containers at a time, I think. It's too bad they don't make them in, like, series of long cars at one time. Uh, so, yeah, so we gotta get a train hooked up here. You know, I might just use that orange train because it's already got the train and one car. Um, I might just use that one here. So, yeah. Look. And you got like shipping container trucks. Um, I bumped my microphone on my desk here. Let's see here. I also have this too. I probably use that if I'm going to load it onto cars um, like that one that I was going to use there. So, yeah. Um,. Let's see here. There's container truck too. I'd always use a truck. Let's see what all we got in here. I probably should have done pick something out. Metal transport trailer. And we got the container trailers here. Um, what is, that? is that just a ship? No, I think it goes on land too. For containers, yeah. That. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, so I tried using this one time, and you see the two red spots. That's like a um, like a square frame, but the bottom is not um, come together, and it just slides on that track. And I, when the track was flat on there, and then that, I got it to slide back to the track, but I couldn't bring it up. I can't get it to come up, I don't think. Maybe I did, and that was just something else I couldn't do or get to work. Uh, let's see here. Probably should have done pick something out. I'll probably just use this train, and I'll spawn in some of the cars. And I kind of want to flip it around. Um, I'm going to flip it around. Yeah, I want to like, because I can move it up that way, um, but I want to twist it. Um, how can I do that? Because I don't make stuff, I just download them and, oh, here, can I do that? No. So... Yeah, I'm going to turn it so it faces the other way. It doesn't go into the water or whatever. I can move it like that and stuff. Um, 
let's just see how it spawns in. Probably ain't gonna spawn in rice. Yeah, see, it doesn't do it right. So let's just get that one train that can go backwards. It's got the two. Mm, here. That's a helicopter. It's a red train here. Uh, maybe I skipped it or something. I've seen it. No, here it is. Um, I think it's this one. Yeah, that one. And then I'll spawn in those container cars that I had. Oh, I don't know why it always does that noise. Does it need any diesel? Let's just get it some real quick. Alright. Uh, 40. Alright, so then, yeah. See that it's pumping down. Yeah. I think it's fuel. Full. Not fuel. I think it's full. Yep. Alright. Now we Come on, hold down so it doesn't copy back in. I still hear it. Alright. Um, how am I supposed to get up in there? Oh, maybe I can just grab the handle and, you know, just put one up in there. I just get in the middle of them two. to get here. Alright, how can I get up here? Mm, okay. I can use this. I probably should have thought of that before and I probably would have, but no. Oh, handbrake, that's right. Oh, that's weird. It's gotta do opposite for opposite buttons for turning. I don't know, it had lights. Does it have lights? No, maybe that's just some light. Alright, I'm going to try and jump up on here and get inside there. Gotta make sure it's like close enough here. It's like kind of strange to do with the buttons being backward and it's upside down. Okay. Clicking your handbrake. Right now I just gotta parkour up here. But, uh, you know, let's just, let's, um, let's just, here, let's, like, do this. Let's just see if the blue electric train, which way it faces, instead of trying to fight with it. Um, Let's just try and do bleed electric train. It's on this side here, I believe. Yep, there it is. Okay, good. It faces the right way. Nope, never mind. Or does it? I think it does. Maybe it does. I don't know. Let's see here. We're going to find out. If not when my next try is going to be the white train. I don't think this one faces the right way, though. does not face the right way. I want it to face the other way 
so that I can bring it out that way. But none of them seem to want to face the right way. I think it's also because of that arrow down there. Um, I think it's also because of that. Also, it says cheapest cargo car. Or cargo rail car. Oh, I need to train the faces the right way. That does not face the right way, I know, because I've used that one before. Okay, this is giving me more trouble than I was wanting. I think they all are. And I don't think that the white train is going to face the other way either. Oh. Really wish you could just turn them. Like, you know, with the circles there that you click and you, you like, drag and it turns. Really wish I could just do that. But no, it doesn't want to be that easy. Can't let you off that easy. Might just have to go into a workshop and look for backwards trains or something. Oh wait, look at this one. I'll probably drive it from that way. Yeah, I can probably drive it from either side. Let's use that. Let's just do this. And let's see how much fuel it's got. Let's fuel it up. Fuel up this baby. Fuel her up. Oh, maybe it's like over full because it went all the way around or something. Let's go back over here and check. See ya. Yep, I think it's already full. So let's just this back on up in here. And I think this one's electric. Um, but you know, we have infinite electricity. I wouldn't necessarily call them cheats. Um, because they're not really cheats. Um. Okay. Driver's seat, master key here, power control inverser. We're gonna do that way. Yes, so let's turn on the engines. Right, come on. Uh, uh. Set it and then parking brake off. It has a ship horn. What is, is this like not working or something? I don't think it's supposed to be on. I think it's supposed to move now. Okay. These trains officially hate me. Um. What in the world is going on? Cause it's not one to work. Yeah. Oh, these trains hate me. Okay, I guess let's try a different one now. About ready to give up on the train. No. Yeah. Yes, I'm pretty sure that's all my trains, except for the white one, and the white one's probably just gonna face the other way. So, I'm not going to do this. Let's just stay in here. Alright, so airplanes don't go in there. Now I'm getting hot. I'm starting to sweat now. I don't know why. Okay, so I think this train car here is what that other one went with because I think that you pick up the containers with that yellow thing that has the driver's seat upside down 
and then you drive over the top of that train car with a container and it lift it up off the ground and you drop it down on there and I think that's how it works with that I'm not too sure but let's just um, get away with that do rid with that and we'll just get a car or something to drive over there with you know we'll drive the Amazon truck watch it give me trouble watch it Bet you five bucks it'll give me trouble. Okay. Uh, manual shifting. What is that? There we go. Okay, so sh never mind. All right, now why isn't it working? You see, I told you you'd give me trouble. See, nothing here can let me off with an easy break. I think it's a parking break. Yeah, so it's just still not working. Nothing but problems out of these vehicles. <sighs> Let's just get this truck and drive over there. I'm not really in the mood for problems from all these, but yet I've still gotten problems from all these. Oh, there's a pistol. Let me see if the pistols work. They actually fire. Okay, they do fire now. store the pistol All right let's go uh <sighs> oh there we go I should do gear selector All right we're going this way non-stop problems from these. Alright, so let's go down here and see how these railways work. I don't know how they expect us to do much with a railway that just heads out to the sea. Sorry, that's my dog in the background. Okay, I get it now. All right, so the way, th the reason why it points the trains will face towards the ocean is because um, once you spawn them in facing towards the ocean and you get your cars and everything hooked up, you will back all the way up here and then that way you switch the track and you just head straight out. So that makes sense now, okay. Yeah, all right, so let's head down here to the hangar.
and see if we can get us a AC-130, possibly. I do not know why that alarm thing's going off now. Um, turn down my volume here. Do not know what my dog was barking at. I think it's just a small hanger. Um, you know, they're not usually too big. Right, let's just open up doors here. Truck is still rolling, but it's okay. So, yeah, guys, anyways, uh, this is the first part of this video. Uh, stay tuned for a second part, and we will see you guys next time. Bye.